All right, guys, and we are back. Now, if you have not been watching my videos lately for these segments right here, what is coming out soon, we've been taking a look at none other than New York Toy Fair 2014 and all of the awesome figures that they are planning to release, uh, all the figures that are right now currently uh, as made as prototypes, etc etc now guys when it came to Bandai America SH Figure Arts I was super excited I was leaping for joy when it comes to Play Arts Kai my mind is blown literally um, some of the figures that they showcased here if they do not release them I think a lot of people will riot um, it's just such an amazing time to be a collector and if you have been collecting the lines that I will be showing you guys here today you guys oh sorry you guys will be super excited as well so here we go let's take a look the first thing is the following the DC Justice League variant line now we have Batman, we have Wonder Woman, we have uh, Green Lantern, we have The Flash. We're waiting on Batgirl, which is one of my most anticipated figures um, ever. Then we have Superman, Supergirl, Cyborg, Aquaman. Those are the ones that we are currently able to purchase from places like uh Big Bad Toy Store, Ami Ami, you name it, any website you go uh, where you can purchase figures, they have them there. Now, the two figures you see in front of you here today, Dark Side to your left and Hawkman to your right. Wow. Wow. Hawkman is a beast. If you I know this picture might not give him justice, but Go right now, Google at, uh, Play Arts Kai Hawkman, and you'll be blown away. Same thing goes for the first villain that we are receiving, or or first couple of villains that we are receiving. Dark Side. What a way to start. I mean, yes, you're you've introduced a lot of the heroes. Now you're introducing some of the villains and. To start out with Dark Side, that is amazing. Loving the decision on Play Arts Kai. They are starting this year out off with a bang. So that's that. Let's continue on. This is not the only figures that they plan on releasing. Here you go. Now we have two figures here. Hopefully you guys can see them. I'm just gonna tweak this a little so I can see it. Alright. Now we have Joker to the left and Harley Quinn to our right. Once again, Justice League, the DC line, the variant DC line, man, they're doing an awesome job. I know it's stylized, but look at how awesome these figures look. <clears throat> I mean, Harley Quinn looks beautiful. Uh, she has like that masquerade, type of like paint job here on her face uh, just her costume looks great I can't wait to see the colors on her it's gonna be look it's gonna be badass same thing goes for Joker I mean Joker uh, this this guy looks awesome with his clown shoes or Joker shoes I should call them and just the get up that you see here man I am super excited I cannot wait for any of these Justice League variant figures to come out I've already pre-ordered pretty much all of the characters that are to be released soon. So this will just be another set of figures that I will be collecting. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Alright, so if you're not already excited, you should be. The next figure set of figures we're going to be getting, Batman Arkham Origins figures. Pretty exciting stuff. We have... Now, I'm not sure if, I'm pretty sure this is for the Batman 
Origins line and not for the Variants line. But if I'm mistaken, I apologize. Here we have Robin and here is Batman himself from the Batman Arkham Origins. Now, unfortunately, I have not had the time to play it. That's why I'm not sure where this guy stands. But it's pretty cool that we're getting another Robin figure. Now, I personally dig the fact that he's not wearing that freaking the the cape piece, not the cape piece, the hooded piece, because that thing was retarded. Uh, I purchased it, and as soon as I took him out while I was reviewing it, I didn't put the review up because I was like, no, this guy's retarded. Um, he can't move his head, and that hood doesn't come down, so I was like, whatever, I'm selling this crap, so I sold it. And... Uh, yeah, but I'm glad that we're getting this figure right here where he doesn't have the hood. Uh, and I will definitely be picking this guy up along with this guy right there. Moving on with the Batman or Arkham Origins line, we have two awesome, awesome character, we, characters. We have the Joker here and we have Deathstroke right there. He looks freaking epic. Now, I know Anthony's Customs made his own um, version of the Deathstroke. And it looks pretty spot on. When I first saw this figure, I was like, Is, wasn't this the thing that Anthony's Customs made? But it's not. They're releasing this uh, from Play Arts Kai. Uh, and if you don't know who Anthony's Customs is, definitely go check him out. He's another YouTuber. He does tons of... Um, Tons of customization, Anthony's Customs, obviously you can tell by his name, but he does great reviews and uh, he knows what he's talking about, so go check him out. But anyways, Deathstroke, Joker, definitely picking up those figures, especially if not the Joker, then definitely Deathstroke. So there we go. That's another set of figures we will be receiving from the Batman Arkham Origins line. On to the next, and this, when I saw it, I was like, damn, 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 this thing looks awesome. If you do not know who this character is, it's actually a summon or some, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a monster that uh, you can, the characters from the game can summon. So, it's from Final Fantasy, and this guy is known as Bahamut. This thing looks awesome. This thing looks huge, but I, even if it costs a couple of hundred to pick this guy up, I think I will definitely be picking this guy up. Uh, he, this, I mean, uh, wow. Uh, that's all I can really say. As soon as I saw this, uh, I don't remember where I took this picture from, but as soon as I saw the picture that they took, I was like, damn, damn, that thing looks awesome. And I'm hoping they release some of the other summons like Ifrit and all those guys. But this is a great start. Or I know they've released like Odin in the past. Um, but having this scale, this awesomeness, uh, I think it's quite worth it. And I definitely will and I definitely see myself picking this figure up. Alright, moving on. We have a character from The Watchmen. Now, I apologize. I do not know anything about The Watchmen. Uh, I watched the movie when it first came out, and that was way back when. And ever since then, I haven't been keeping up with it. I've never kept up with it. So you guys probably know. If you guys do know who this character is, um, yes, he will be coming out sometime soon, uh, as long as they don't pull it. Now... Last thing, and this is quite, I mean, this is a cute line, as you guys can see, the Chibi-style Justice League. We have the three, pretty much, main leaders of the group. We have Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Um, looks great, but like I said in the past, uh, if you haven't watched my uh, video where I was talking about the Street Fighter line, um, then let me just tell you guys real quickly... Because Play Arts Kai is really invested in this whole DC Universe line, 
the Variants line and the Arkham Origins line and whatever other lines that they're doing currently right now. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing any more Street Fighter figures for the time being. Uh, I hope it's just on hiatus for a little bit of time and then it'll be coming back to us after they've released all the Justice League figures and whatnot. But if they've concluded and if they're done with the Street Fighter line, then I'm quite disappointed. Um, I was really hoping to get Bison, Blanca, E. Honda, um, Sagat, uh, Vega, all of those main guys that we uh, have come to love and adore. And, like, adore. Um, I think it would be a very big letdown for us as collectors. So Play Arts Kai, if you're watching this, probably not. I'm pretty sure you're not. But if anyone who knows anyone who's working at Play Arts Kai, definitely let them know. We definitely want to see Street Fighter back. So that's that. Guys, once again, I want to give a quick shout out to all of the websites that I, was, uh, I took the pictures from. Uh, Tomo Pop, Toy Arc, and Comics Alliance. Guys, check their websites. Uh, these websites do an awesome job covering all of these major events. Um, they have great pictures and great articles. So definitely do go check them out. And that is that. Guys, once again, I would like to say thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, and yeah, if you haven't done so already, if you guys did enjoy the videos, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And once again, I'll have tons of figure reviews, ton of other coverages for you guys very, very soon. And that's that. Guys, once again, thanks a lot. This is Daybreak748, and I'm finally signing out. Peace out.